Hi guys, so I am here in the Palm Springs, California area. I'm here visiting my family for an extended weekend and I figure, you know, that's the perfect time to go thrifting. So I'm here at a local Goodwill. Let's pop on in and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay, so it's 50% off purple tags. So let's see, I think we'll start over here at the dresses. Let's see what we can find, if anything. And their dress rack is really tall, so I'm sorry, it might be hard to see. Um, I am five feet tall, so this is way over my head. <laughs> but I'll try and show you the best that I can. Let's see if there's anything. Doesn't look like there's anything so far. What section do you guys go to first? I usually try to start with dresses. Um, I just like selling dresses and I have, I feel like I can get my money for them. Um, seems like people are just willing to pay up a little bit more for them compared to others, but. Okay, let's see. I will see you guys. I'm gonna come back if I find something because it's actually quite difficult to film and look through these. <laughs> so I'll see you in just a bit. All right, obviously this is not a brand I would recommend picking up, but I know it's half off, it's purple tag, and it's got llamas on it. It's a Christmas, or alpacas, I don't know which one, but I kind of want to get it because of the sheer ridiculousness um, and I'm not gonna lie I could resell it but I almost want to just keep it for myself because I like it <laughs> okay let's go through some of the sweaters and see what we can find here or the jackets I should say maybe we'll find something good It feels super wrong to be going through sweaters right now. It's 115 degrees outside today, guys, in Palm Springs. And their air conditioning in here is not great. So I am like dying in here. But fall is coming. Oh, look at this. Jay McLaughlin. I love selling Jay McLaughlin. It's like a ribbed turtleneck. Yes, even better. It's a purple tag, so it's half off. That is my favorite. And it's a really super pretty like plum color. That'll be perfect for fall. Okay, definitely getting that. Um, let's see if we can find anything else while we're here. Wow, that's a nice pea coat, but Jones New York isn't a super great brand for me to sell and they want $15, so I'm not gonna get that. Oh, well, I love selling Alex Evenings, but again, $12, I'm not gonna pay $12 for it. Okay. Check this side. What is this? Petit pois. Never heard of it. Ooh, hot cotton. Um, hot cotton does pretty well for me, but it's not, it's six dollars and it's a size small. I'll put this as a maybe. We'll put this as a maybe. I'll think about that one. Let's see if there's anything else. Fresh produce. I don't know how their sweaters do. It's a size large, which is a nice size. And it's got this really cool kind of print on it. It's not their typical like tropical floral print. This will be a maybe also, cause I do like the print and the size, but 
I just, I need to look up comps on how it does with not being like their typical vibrant, colorful print. Okay. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm really excited. Look at this, Eileen Fisher, large, brand new, with the tag. And they only want, usually they mark these up. They're only asking $6.99. Yep, definitely taking this one home. It's like a nice, like just, a, it's a basic t-shirt, but it's like a tunic and it's kind of, it's viscous. So it's got that nice stretch to it. Yep, going in the cart. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. Another one, another Eileen Fisher brand new with the tag and they didn't mark it up. Think the thrifting Goodwill Gods, $7. Incredible. It's merino wool. It's a size large and it's a beautiful purple color. I am so excited for this. It does have a hole right here as you can see, but you know what? It's still going to sell. So I'm still going to get it. Found a torrid piece. New with tag, it's size four, and it's this really cute open front cardigan. They want seven dollars for it. It's not half off, but I should easily be able to get 30, 35. So cute, definitely getting this. I found my first Viore piece. Here's what the tag looks like. I have been seeing resellers everywhere. Sorry, I know, my hair's a mess, I'm sweaty. It's like a sauna in here. Um, all the resellers have been talking about Viore as an activewear brand to find. I have never found it. I don't know, I just haven't had luck. But today, I found Viore. They do want $10 for it, so, I need to check comps, but I'm probably gonna get it anyway. I figure I should at least be able to make my money back. So, you know, who really cares? I should be able to at least get $10 in profit and I think that's worth it. So, going in the cart. Okay, air conditioning break. Best spot in the store. Okay, <laughs> another find, Escada. This doesn't sell for as much as it once did. I should say it is still a designer brand. Um, and I like the style, it's a really cute sweater. It's got like beads and me metallic decorations. Um, and I don't know what size it is, but they want $7. So I'm gonna pick it up. All right, another brand I like to sell is Sundance. This is only a size medium, but it does have this really nice, like textured, like thermal knit. Um, really cute floral print. They are asking $10, which is pretty pricey, I think, but I can usually get 25 to 30, usually 30-ish for these shirts. So I think I'm gonna pick it up. All right, another great find. I found this Vince top. It's only a size two, which is kind of a bummer, but beautiful silk top, it's like this nice neutral brown. It does have um, a little button at the collar. And the best part, it's a purple tag, so it's half off, so it's only 350. Definitely getting that. Okay guys, just checking in. Um, it's going pretty well, so I'm about a quarter of the way through the store. So let's head over. I'm gonna try the jeans section. I'm not gonna lie, I am terrible with jeans. I just, I don't enjoy listing them. I hate going through them. I just never seem to find anything. So I don't know, we'll see, but fingers crossed. Okay. Should I get these Ralph Lauren jeans? It'd be $4 cause they're on sale. They are kind of like a white, but they don't look like they have any wear. There's no, 
damage or any marks. Um, size 10 is a pretty decent size. I don't know. Okay, we'll put them as a maybe. Let's do maybe. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me. J. Crew jeans are usually okay, but 27, I feel like, I don't know. These are skinny jeans, so I feel like I'll pass on those because skinny jeans are out. <laughs> or so I'm hearing. Um, how do you guys go through the jeans? Like, does it take you a long time? I just, I don't know, it's, it feels like for me, it takes me a long time to go through them. And I never seem to find any of the good brands. Like, I found Mother Jeans once, and that was like years ago. That was literally like five years ago. Um, I have never found another J. Crew Jeans. These are flares, so they're $10. I don't know if these have been hemmed. Do they look like, how do you tell if these have been hemmed guys? I'm really bad with jeans. So I'll put these as a maybe because I like the style, but I'll have to check on the comps on these. Okay. Anyways, I've never found um, a Goldie. So that's what I'm kind of, manifesting hoping to find a goldie jeans <laughs> but i'm just really bad at those are cool i've never heard of lioness but those are kind of neat but they're 15 bucks so. and then like levi's i know that there's like some that do really well like the wedgie jean but i've only ever found those once and they were overpriced so I didn't get them I don't know leave me your suggestions for how to find how you guys find good jeans I did find good American ones I still have to list them because um, like I said I'm really bad at I don't like listing jeans so it just like sits in my death pile oh my god I didn't even know Chico's made a triple zero that's funny okay all right, well, I'll be back if I find anything. All right, this is the damage. <laughs> nice full cart. It's been about two hours. So let's go check out and cry a little when we have to pay. <laughs> All right, I am back home. Well, I'm back at my parents' house and I wanted to close out the video, go over how much I spent. So I spent $166 even it was actually going to be 165 something and then I rounded up the change because I just always do that um and I ended up with 23 things so I will put the price per item right here because I can't do that kind of math in my head and I'm, I'm using my phone to record <laughs> but here's what my receipt looks like nice and long um but I was really excited. I found some really good stuff. The two new with tag Eileen Fishers were definitely the highlight. Um, so quick little story time before I close this out. So the Eileen Fisher shirt that was new with the tag, it was actually part of a set. I didn't know this when I picked it up. It said two of two on the tag and there was no barcode. So I take it up to the cashier and the cashier was like, well, I can't scan this in. There's no barcode for it. So I said, okay, well, can you call a manager over? Because I would still like to get it. Um, and the whole time I'm thinking, oh God, uh, if they're going to reprice it, that means that the manager might price it up because it's new with tag. And it was $7. I was like, okay, he's probably going to price it like 10 to 15. So I'm still going to get it. Um, but then the manager came back and he had priced it at $5. So I got brand new Eileen Fisher for $5. Guys, I was so excited. Obviously I was like, you know, keeping it calm on the outside because I didn't want the manager to know he probably just made a big screw up with that. I mean, maybe he knew what he was doing. I don't know. But either way, I was like, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. And inside I'm going, <laughs> it 
Anyways, um, that's going to do it for today's thrift with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me to go thrifting. Obviously, if you like this kind of content, if you like these kind of videos, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. It really will help my channel to grow, which I desperately need because this channel is brand new. Um, and I hope that you had a great time. I know I sure did. And I'm looking forward to sharing more reselling content with you in the future. So have a great one and I will see you next time. Bye.